What is up everybody, Escape211 here, and we're once again on the test server. And last time we looked at the Gauss Rifle, this time I got a little nostalgic, and we're gonna do the Shotgun 8s, but on the Shadow. This was like what I used to use all the time in earlier beta. Um, so we're gonna check out the shotguns here. Man, these got some beefy damage for an eight energy weapon. Yeah, the other stats we know, all the perks and all that kind of stuff, very familiar with it with other shotguns. And even when we look at its upgrade path, that's the same. Um, so not much different here. I did just for the heck of it again, try this at one star and it already was showing promise. I tried it at um, the next set, which is its natural two star, which not much different, it's only one star up. Then I went up to uh, five star and that was pretty impressive. I like that. Um, already starting to show that it's awesome. And now we're going to get into it here at the uh, the max level. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped to see how this is going to go. We're just going to jump into some CPC. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, if you guys were around during beta, this was the super good kind of build to use. I mean, with shotgun fours, but when you did this with Shadow, Shadow like reigned. He was supreme in that time. Um, but, uh, you know, shotguns are not as powerful as they used to be when they were back then. I think they were called like Bone Dust or something was the name of them. But uh, these with the eights, man, this is, this is kind of going back to former glory. Oh, look at that. We got that new skin. We got the reindeer. I'm going to follow Rudolph here. Cap a point. Let's get this beacon. And then you can go to the sleigh. I'll go to the center. Here we go. <laughs> oh, maybe going to center is not a good idea. Yeah, not in the shadow. I've gotten so used to doing that with my kill shot. We're going to move to the side. Oh, got a guy right there. Oh, look at that. Three shots with the dual shotguns. Shotgun aids here. Let's pull back till we can... Oh. I don't want to get close to that guy. Actually, because it's AI, I'm sure with my stealth, I'm going to be able to get in here without yeah, much resistance. He's trying to get a beat on me, but this is the thing, though. When you're fighting AI, they're just not going to be as good at hitting you as the players will. So I bet this build... Ooh, can I get this guy? Oh, okay. Um, I have a feeling this build isn't going to do as well once we get into real combat real players using you know the the big problem ones right the kill shots that can kill you easily up close the zephyrs um the guardians the common mechs you see can deal with a shadow up close pretty well so nice don't want to hit those mines we're going to go this way but for stuff like this it's fun i do think that shotguns are going to be great for like zephyr um surge maybe some kill shot builds it's going to be pretty fearsome yeah, yeah, we can get that guy. Oh, nice. We got hit a little. Not too bad, though. We just used that, so we can move in on him for sure. Especially when we got stealth. It also reloads a little faster than your stealth window, so you can almost get a couple in there. Well, not quite. I think it's just shy of it, but, you know, you can usually kill um, ooh, ooh, the light to medium stuff in one clip. And then the heavier stuff, it usually takes two. But, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the damage output. It's very nice. I mean, shotguns always were pretty good, but just a low energy set. So to have some eights is really cool. I think this will actually be a nice one for Hedezo when he comes out. All right, let's get this guy. Stealth it up and... Oh, no! Oh, there was a Zephyr there. I didn't know that. All right. Well, thankfully, it was a computer Zephyr. Oh, and look at that. We got some double shots in there. Yeah, that's where it's going to be nice for someone like um, Zephyr or Surge. But I think with Hedezo, like I was saying, once he does his like pounce style ability, once we eventually get that guy being able to pounce and then get around to their back while they're slowed, like in stasis, that's going to be sweet. At least that's how I think it's going to work. Oh, I didn't know it was a another Zephyr. I shouldn't be surprised, though. I use Zephyrs all the time. Yeah, I think Hed Hedezo will be an interesting one to use for this. All right, let's pull back up here. Oh no, we got someone over there. Oof. Come on, come on, come on. All right, I can stealth. Got you. Nice. We'll get more reindeer over here. Good deal. All right, let's pull back once again. All right, let's follow. Yeah, these guys are 
going up center. Let's go up as a group. Uh, actually, let, I'll let them take that. We'll move to this side. Yeah, with our Zephyr buddy here. They were just moving slow up that ramp, and I knew I was going to get stuck behind him. Oh, he caught me with it. <laughs> just barely. Yeah, the AI can still hit you some, even in stealth mode now. That's different than what beta was. Beta, like, once you go in stealth mode, they, like, turn their head away from you. And you can easily get back shots. It was insanely good. So. Yeah, though, I mean, that's still that's still great. A lot of fun. Very powerful. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be realistic to have it on Shadow. I think it's going to be better off on Shadow with, um, like, you know, the Missile Rack 8s or something like that than with this kind of a weapon. You want something bursty where you can keep your speed and your distance. This is probably going to be too close for the problem X, but still really fun to play with. Um, you know, just a throwback for right now. Still going to be a great weapon, I think, for a lot of different mechs and a lot of different situations. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to have to see how that plays out in the meta. I believe this one's going to be in Battle Pass. I'm assuming it's going to be in the gold section. So it may be, um, you know, a paid item right now, but I'm guessing it'll probably come in the progress path later. But overall, yeah, those stats are really good. I'm excited to see this one in play a little bit more. But you guys can let me know what you think about this weapon, different kind of builds you want to try with this, what you'd like to see. And uh, yeah, we got more stuff coming. We'll see you out there on the battlefield.